Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video I want to showcase this little um, tool here that I created called Ghost Pipe. And it's meant to be a weaponization tool for bad USB attacks. So if you're not familiar with bad USB devices like this, uh, this is called DigiSpark. So it has this uh, USB interface here and it has this little chip. And we can program this chip here, we can put our own code our own payload here and once this is connected to a computer the computer thinks uh, this is a keyboard so this can inject some keystrokes type really fast commands uh, into the computer and the problem with that for for the victim for the target is that since the computer thinks this is a keyboard it can type for instance Windows R which would open the execution prompt for us and after that we can put pretty much anything and the computer would execute it so we this this kind of, of attack can be done with this digispark this costs like four dollars five dollars or, so, or something uh, really cheap we can use the flipper zero for that we can use the rubber ducky which is another uh, it's it looks like a USB flash drive uh, there's the OMG cable, which is simply a cable, but it has this chip here um, inside of it. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a different type of chip, but similar. Um, so, plenty of different devices we can use to perform this attack. The problem is that on classic bad USB attacks, for instance, using uh, this little thing here, it serves a static payload. We cannot change the payload once it's burned in here. For instance, let's say we are on a red team, uh, operation and we have a payload here to take a screenshot of the target and send to our command control but let's say that in the middle of the operation we change our our goal and we don't want to take a screenshot anymore we want now to let's say to capture um, I don't know to, to zip the document folders and, and, and exfiltrate it or anything like that um, we cannot do that because the payload is already in here, we cannot change it. For In order for us to change this, this payload, we need to plug this on our computer. Uh, we need to bridge some pins here, put this in programming mode and change the, the payload. So that's not practical. With the Flipper Zero, we don't have that problem because it has different slots that we can put different payloads. But even, even so, it's not that practical to change this. Um, with the flipper. It's way better to do this using Ghost Pipe, which is oops, which is this little application that I made here. It's less suspicious to carry a phone around. We can this is a web application, so we can open this on our phone and we can manage different payloads. So we can see here I got a couple as examples and this here is already configured with Ghost Pipe. So I just need to select one of these payloads let's say open calculator here just an example we can see here that the active payload is to open calculator and as soon as i plug this in it will run uh, the payload and open calculator pretty cool now let's say i want to change the payload i don't want to i don't want to open the calculator again now i want to take a screenshot i simply change the active payload and once this is connected again a different payload will be run sometimes this is not working i believe it's because of this adapter here let me just reconnect this again it has nothing to do with the ghost pipe there you go now it's running the payload and we can see here in the exfiltrated data we see that the payload take screenshot was run right now and this is the result we can see here the screenshot taken pretty nice now let's see let's say we want to exfiltrate the clipboard simply disconnect reconnect there you go and it runs a different command now when we see the exfiltrated data, we see heat exfiltrate clipboard, and this is the clipboard. Okay, so you can write any payload you want if you wanna. Once you open this for the first time, you won't see any payloads here. You need to create your own, so you can simply click here, put a name, 
this is a PowerShell script, so you can... There are plenty of resources online with different payloads for this. You can just grab them, you can ask ChatGPT to make them for you. It's pretty useful for that, actually. Um, so you can create um, different payloads. If you, if you want to export these payloads to another instance or just to, to save them, you can use this button here. It will save a payloads.json file. You can import, if you have such JSON file, you can import it. So maybe you download it for, from somewhere or you're just changing from one, one instance to the other. You can import a JSON file here, okay? And that's it. And you can change the, the password. You need to log in. And that's it. There, there are a couple more things I want to implement here, like cryptography and some other sort of um, authentication. But that's work for the future. But right now, that's it. You can find the links for everything in the description below, the links for the GitHub repository with uh, everything you need to, to run this. And that's it. See you next time.